Hi, my name is Niranjan and welcome to another episode of Champak's IQ where we teach you simple science experiments that you can try at home. Now, what's common between a hummingbird, a dragonfly and a helicopter? Well, they can all fly forwards, backwards and hover in place. In fact, the design of the modern day helicopter is largely inspired by the dragonfly. But before we talk more about helicopters, let's play a game and make parties a lot more interesting and a lot more fun. What do you need? Well, you need a pair of scissors, a paper clip, an A4 sheet of paper, which I have cut down to about that big. Now let's get started. So let's start off by taking a little sheet of paper and we fold it along the breadth first and we open it up. Then we fold it along the length. Now the next bit is where the scissors are going to come into play. So now that we've made this fold, we're going to take our scissors and basically cut along this line, right down to the middle. These will make the wings of our rotocopter. The next would be to make two small slits on either side of the, of the bottom half. Now what we have to do is make sure we don't cut right down to the center. We have to leave a tiny piece of, 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 of gap right there. Yep. Try to equalize it on the other side. You don't have to be exactly, you don't have to be exact here. Once that's done, we flip it over and we fold it almost to the center fold the other side as well and the handle of our rotocopter is ready now it comes now let's play that now let's work on the wings the wings are basically going to be these two flappy thingies fold one flap away from you and fold one flap towards you and when you let it go it should sort of form a v shape only it's also a y interesting now finally we fold a tiny bit right at the bottom take our paper clip and put it put it right there there you go, our rotocopter is ready. Now if you throw this up into the air. So when I throw the rotocopter up into the air and it comes back to the ground, the air that's around us starts pushing against it. Now since the wings are at an angle, the upward push of the air sort of spins the copter around. But why doesn't the copter move forward? This is because the air around us acts on either wing with the same force. So the spin of one wing cancels the other out. And instead of moving forward, our rotocopter gently comes back to the ground. Now we come to the question of how does a helicopter work? The fan that's attached to the top of the helicopter spins at great speeds. It sucks in the air from above it and pushes it down, just like how a ceiling fan works. But when this happens, the entire helicopter has the tendency to spin the other way. To counter this, helicopters have another smaller fan at the end of their tails. Depending on how fast this fan spins, it can cancel out, reduce or add to the spin of the helicopter. Now we have a helicopter that rises up into the air and all we need now is forward momentum. This is where an interesting component that makes up the main rotor or the big fan comes into play. It's called the swash plate and the swash plate is part of the rotor assembly and is connected to levers inside the cockpit. So when you move the lever in one direction, the swash plate tilts the rotor so the air is pushed at an angle. If the entire rotor leans forward, the helicopter moves forward and it's as simple as that. Now you could play a very simple game with this rotocopter and all you need is a bowl. Sort of like this one. The aim will be to throw the rotocopter up into the air and have it land in the bowl. Get it in and you win. Try playing this at home and tell me how many times you managed to get it into the bowl. Leave them in the comments below. My name is Niranjan. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Champak's IQ which was brought to you by Champak and One Network. Thank you so much and please subscribe.